The head of Taiwan Power Company has stepped forward to say he is willing to assume all responsibility for restarting generator number two without a permit from the Taichung city government. For the first time since the row began, Tai Power chairman Wang Weifu on Monday defended the company's decision. Yang said Taichung City could not override the central government's authorization or issue fines to Tai Power, quote, whenever it feels like it. City councillors gathered outside Taichung Power Plant on Monday to protest the restart of its number two generator. We came to the entrance of Taichung Power Plant to the rest area outside the entrance because the chimneys here spread pollutants out all around, so this is the safest place. Over the Dragon Boat Festival long weekend, Taichung City slapped a heavy fine on Tai Power for restarting the generator. It has also threatened legal action for those personally responsible. Taichung Mayor Lu Xiuyan took a tough stance on Monday. We must be resolute to bring air pollution under control. It's like a pest control situation. You need to deal with the houseflies, but even more so the tigers. As a state-owned enterprise, Tai Power and its Taichung power plant are tigers, but we can't let them be exempt from the law, have special privileges, or demand a cover-up from Taichung city government. There is no doubt that the number two generator is operating within the law. I have never seen a public authority that has the right to determine for itself that the decisions of a higher authority are invalid. Taichung is stubbornly persisting on its own path, ignoring our national authorities, as if it can just slap a fine on Thai power whenever it feels like it. In December, the plant was accused of illegally exceeding its quota of coal to burn for 2019. Mayor Lu stripped it of licenses for two of its generators, numbers 2 and 3. In February, however, the central government's Environmental Protection Administration overturned Taichung's decision and in March, the executive yuan said local laws were contradicting national law and were null and void. But Taichung hasn't given up. If publicly owned firms owned 100 percent by the government can set an example of breaking the law, then how are we to protect the health of the people? How are we to defend the authority of the state? If Taichung city government is set on finding someone to blame before it lets this go, then I am willing to accept all responsibility. Tai Power has warned it is ready to restart generator number three at any time to keep the nation's operating reserve above 10 percent. When we're ready to carry out tests on generator number three, we will do so. In our current principles for the nationwide distribution of power generation, we have allotted nine generators in operation at Taichung Power Plant. Now, today, for example, we have more than seven generators in operation there. This will stay the same. These principles will not be ripped up. Environmental activists are standing behind Taichung City and calling in scientists to strengthen their case. But Tai Power is determined not to back down. And with the central government at odds with local officials, the row is just firing up.